So I'm answering the question, what does Carol Spinney mean to me? Um, Carol's been a huge part of my life since I was a baby. I grew up watching Sesame Street, as the majority of people do. Um, but looking back, uh, I don't really remember much of what I saw on Sesame Street. I remember various sketches and segments, but there's only, only two street stories that I can actually remember off the top of my head. One of which was an arc, and it went on for very many episodes. It's when Slimy goes to space, and I remember Oscar very vividly from those episodes. Um, how worried he was about sending Slimy away, and how much he missed him. And I remember that left a great impact on me because Oscar is presented as this grouch, and um, he loves Slimy so much, and it just showed just how much of a heart of gold he actually has. Um, but that segment is a bit longer, so, you know, that's probably why I can remember it better. But then there's one episode, and it's just a one episode story arc, that for some reason has stuck with me throughout the years. Um, it's an episode where Big Bird is sitting on the steps of Sesame Street, and he just spends the entire episode trying to get everyone to sit with him and no one's got the time of day, everyone's too busy and running around and doing things and um, he sings this song with Gordon called If These Steps Could Talk and that song s stuck with me. I probably saw that episode when I was five or six and maybe, maybe I saw it more than once but I probably didn't um, but I mean I'm 22 now and that's 18, 17 years ago that I saw the episode and I could still remember the lyrics and I had a friend who shared the song with me actually a couple months back. They gave me an audio file of it and I was so shocked of how much of the song I remembered and I actually started crying because it's such a sweet, beautiful song. So, you know, growing up Big Bird was my favorite um, of all the characters on Sesame Street. So, I mean, Carol's just... Uh, he's been there for me since I was a kid, Big Bird and Oscar, and now that I've gotten back into loving Sesame Street and the Muppets at the age of 22, which is not entirely common, um, not only do I have this deep-seated appreciation for Big Bird and Oscar, but I also have it for Carol, because now I'm old enough to realize, you know, how long he's been working with the Muppets and, and Sesame Street, mainly, um, and, you know, I'm able to look at all of his artwork and all of his personal projects and watch interviews that he gives, and he's just such a wonderful, amazing man. Um, and I have a friend who interned at Sesame um, probably over a year ago or so, um, but she, she likes to tell me the story about how she and Carol Spinney did an interpretive dance-off was just, you know, he's, you wouldn't expect a man of his, his age to just break out into interpretive dancing, but apparently he does, which is incredible. And while she was working at Sesame, she also, um, got me this. It's a feather from Big Bird's costume. I, it must have fallen off or something, but it's one of the most prized possessions that I have. I, you know, I have it set aside in a special place so I can show it off and I can always see it. So yeah, I mean, Carol's a national treasure and it's a crime against nature that more people don't actually know his name, which is why I'm so excited for this documentary because everyone's, <laughs> everyone's gonna know him, hopefully, after this documentary comes out. Um, much like being Elmo, a lot of people know Kevin Clash now because of that documentary. I'm really hoping this documentary brings to light everything Carol's done and what an amazing, incredible man he is and, oh my goodness, words. I don't even have the words. He's just <sighs> amazing. I guess that's all I can say. Um, and yeah, he's been a part of my life since I was a kid and I'm, I have no doubt that he'll continue to be a part of my life and I hope someday a part of my my kids lives my have kids someday um, yeah um, I hope he sees this video um, to know how much he truly has touched my life and I know he's touched millions of other people's lives too so thank you Carol thank you for everything
I also have a signed picture of Big Bird from Carol that my friend got me, but I have absolutely no idea where it is. I just moved. I need to find it. Yes. Anyway, again, thank you, Carol. You're an amazing human being. Thank you. Thank you so much.